morning, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, down here in the lower left-hand corner of your screen. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik, and as of right now, we're looking at some fairly mild conditions across much of the Mid-South area. Decently quiet for now. Could be some problems into the rest of the forecast for later on. We'll talk more about that coming up in just a little bit. If you've never joined us before, this is our weather blog live and online. We're live on Periscope, Twitter, Google+, and YouTube this morning, but thanks for joining us on whatever channel you are joining us on for this morning. Current conditions right now looking at 61 degrees in the News Channel 3 backyard with south winds at about 8 miles per hour. Forecast for today in the red bar here showing temperatures today back in the lower 80s. Winds kind of breezy out of the south at about 5 to 10, maybe gusting to 20 miles per hour at times. And forecast for tonight down here looking at lower to mid 60s with partly cloudy skies for the most part. Winds dying down by just a little bit. You can find out more information about the forecast here at wreg.com slash weather. And if you have any more questions, please feel free to ask me at austin.onic at wreg.com. Excuse me for the wibbly wobbliness on our Twitter cam. So I'm cobbling together a uh, microphone camera stand here from other parts around the area and unfortunately some of that stuff is just uh, put together by just a little bit. My regular camera stand wandered off. I'm not too sure what happened to it. Purchase knobs. Sunrise this morning in the Great Smokies. Things looking very nice out there. Don't make sure you follow the hashtag FindYourPark on Twitter and other social media to find out more about what's going on with the National Park System. You can find out more about the National Park Service at nps.gov for more. Rest of the area looking at temperatures rising pretty rapidly into the course of the next couple of hours back in the mid 70s by mid to late morning cloud cover across the area but chances of rainfall not immediately but as we get into the rest of the day there will be more chances coming up isolated and mainly after about 12 to 1 o'clock this afternoon it's going to be during the warmest part of the day when the atmosphere is at its most unstable and that will be giving us the possibility of needing the umbrella or maybe even the windshield wipers out across portions of the mid-south so please keep that in mind winds will be a little breezy throughout the rest of the day as well if you're going to be doing anything outdoors you might want to prepare for at least a little bit of breeze coming on through it doesn't look like much but again we'll be looking at winds out of the south at about maybe 5 to 15 miles per hour or even breezier than that in parts of the area throughout the course of the rest of the day currently at Rhodes College in Memphis mostly clear skies We've got a few clouds looking back toward the northwest and sunrise view looking very nice into around the area of central Memphis. Likewise in Germantown, Tennessee, the water tower is just north of Germantown High School and you can see the cloud cover very nicely throughout the rest of East Memphis back toward I-240 and Poplar with again those cloud cover areas looking back toward the areas of the northwest and 61 degrees currently in the News Channel 3 backyard. We continue again to see the possibility of some more showers and thunderstorms throughout the course of the rest of the afternoon. We don't see, again, too much of anything going on uh, immediately, but if you do have any plans for outdoors, you may want to take the umbrella with you because as we go past noon and into around the areas of about, say, early during the afternoon hours, especially into around portions of southeast Arkansas, that's where we see, again, the possibility of these showers and thunderstorms popping up uh, from time to time, and that's where we're seeing, again, the possibility of needing the umbrella the most, but some of these areas of showers might make their way up into the rest of the Mid-South area throughout the rest of the afternoon. Some of them could make it into the metro area. Some of them could make it into around southwest areas of Tennessee, but I don't think everybody's going to be getting a shower or a thunderstorm at this point. Remember that if you can hear thunder, you are within a range of getting struck by lightning, so please keep that in mind because, again, if you can see the lightning from the storm or hear the thunder, you are within a range of getting struck by that storm as those lightning lightning bolts can leap 20 to 30 miles away from the parent thunderstorm. So if you see anything going on, if you got a golf game going on, if you're out doing yard work, anything like that, don't risk it. Just go ahead and pack it up for a little while. Go inside to a sturdy, again, regular building like a house or something like that, an outdoor pavilion or a tent. Not one of the best things you can do. It's going to be one of the better things that you can uh, head to is someplace sturdy like that to keep yourself safe in and around the Mid-South area. By News Channel 3 at 10, everything's pretty much over with. And by News Channel 3 daybreak early tomorrow morning, not much going on. Now, by late tomorrow morning, again, Easter Sunday, a lot of sunrise services going on, a lot of outdoor sunrise services happening. There could be the possibility of some leftover showers 
maybe some thunderstorms making their way into the Mid-South from the Northwest, heading their way down into around Northeast Arkansas and the Missouri Boot Heel. Light scattered showers by late tomorrow morning are possible. Remnants of those could pass through the Mid-South into tomorrow afternoon, so there will be a better chance of rainfall tomorrow rather than today, but there still will be possible showers out there throughout the rest of the day today and into the rest of the forecast. By News Channel 3 at 10, a few more showers and thunderstorms wandering through. That's News Channel 3 at 10 tomorrow night, not for tonight, and that's where we see again that possibility of uh, thunderstorms coming on through. Severe weather at this time, way to our west, looking again from areas around Amarillo into around Chicago. That's where we're going to be seeing the main threat in that uh, yellow shaded area that you see there. Getting into the rest of the forecast for the Mid-South area, we don't have a lot going on here. Back to the west of us, west of Oklahoma City. That's where we see down toward Lubbock the possibility of more showers and thunderstorms. The bright green shaded area that you see here just north of the Mid-South, that is a marginal threat for severe weather, meaning that it's not entirely hugely likely, but it is still possible, and some of that does wander into parts of the Mid-South. Now the good news, again, for right now is that yesterday the threat for severe weather was over parts of the Mid-South, basically uh, been gone for the time being or removed from the forecast. The green color you see on the screen here that's a generic threat for uh, severe weather for just thunderstorms. No severe weather in the forecast for Monday, so definitely good news on that. But this forecast, again, with everything else we're showing you, could change. So please keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for more on that. Chances of isolated showers and thunderstorms will be possible into the rest of the forecast afternoon into early this evening, and then we should be done with the rainfall until we get into tomorrow, and that's where we see even more possibilities of thunderstorms in the forecast heading into very early on Sunday afternoon and into the evening hours as well. Monday, the possibility of showers and thunderstorms widespread across the Mid-South, and that will include for the area much of Tuesday, and off and on chances of showers and thunderstorms into the rest of the forecast. We're not looking again at huge potential, but as we go toward Wednesday, all the way throughout the rest of the week, that's where we see that possibility of isolated showers and thunderstorms out there for uh, areas mainly into around East Arkansas, West Tennessee, and Northern Mississippi. That's where we're going to be picking up most of that activity going on. So keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for more on that. Get the News Channel 3 weather app. It's available at the App Store and whatever platform you've got. Go ahead and search your App Store for WREG Weather and get more information about what's going on in the Mid-South area. Also, don't forget to tune in to the forecast on the EAB Network, East Arkansas Broadcast Network, Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. And I'll keep you advised as to what's going on there. And don't forget to check out the complete forecast on on Talkback Live, bright and early Monday through Friday morning. I'll have your forecast on Talkback Live with Bob and Josh. That's on AM 730 Yahoo Sports Radio and on social media throughout the rest of the weekend as well. Stay tuned. We've got a lot more coming up on News Channel 3 Daybreak. We're only in the second hour of Daybreak. Got another about hour and 45 minutes to go. Uh, myself and co-anchor Nina Harrelson giving you the latest updates on what's going on with news, weather, and sports. So stay tuned for more there. And of course, we'll have more on social media and throughout the rest of the weekend at WREG.com slash weather. Thanks for joining us for the latest edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. More to come throughout the rest of the weekend, so keep it tuned to News Channel 3 on air and online.